This is the Star News Brief from Tina Mombunu. Deputy President William Ruto and his main 2022 State House opponent, ODM boss Rilo Odinga, are facing two major headaches in their efforts to win over Mount Kenya. Political dynamics at play, including tough conditions set by the region's political and business elites, as well as the choice for running mates, remain the duo's main obstacles ahead of 2022. Other politicians argue that the two might find themselves walking a political tightrope if the region decides to reject both of them and rally behind one of their own for the country's top job. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com. More shocking revelations emerged on Friday in the Willie Kimani murder trial as a police informer continued to unravel the scheme that was hatched by officers from Lolongo police station leading to the brutal 2016 killings. Peter Ngoge told the court that after dumping the bodies which he referred to as Mzigo Mirefu, they were hosted by Frederick Leliman and his wife at his bar in Lolongo. He said Leliman's wife, Esther Mudama, also a police officer, served them beer and five kilograms of beef fry that Leliman bought them. Households with prepaid meters may have to wait longer to enjoy the government's pledge of bringing down the cost of power by 30%. This even as Kenya Power moves to actualize the first tranche of a 15% reduction on power bills with huge costs that could dent its capital on the offing. While President Uhuru Kenyatta has promised consumers a power reduction before Christmas, a billing system that would be used to adjust downwards the bills is yet to be formulated. Chief Justice Martha Kome and Public Service CS Margaret Kobia topped the list of high-profile leaders President Uhuru Kenyatta has honored with state awards. The two leaders alongside Environment CS Keriako Tobiko were awarded Elder of the Order of the Golden Heart, the most revered awards issued by the President to individuals for their distinguished service to the nation. Also fated with a top honor were Professor Oliver Mugendia, State House Controller Mbogwa Kinudia, and Kenya Revenue Authority Commissioner James Gibby, amongst others. And the passenger train to Kisumu from Nairobi resumed operations on Friday after 10 years. It left Nairobi at 6 a.m. and arrived in Nakuru at 11.35 a.m. It then proceeded to the lakeside city for a journey that was to end at 5.45 p.m. Targeting travelers this festive season, the train will run on December 17th and 24th and January 1st next year. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings through www.mgazetti.com.